गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई डिस्कस हियर अबाउट द अवर डिफिकल्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द यूनिट सेक्शन फाइव एंड द टॉपिक इज राइटिंग स्किल हियर वी फाइंड एट सेक्शन फाइव राइटिंग स्किल दैट क्वेश्चन कवर ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स एंड हियर आई डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ए लेटर राइटिंग this question having five marks and there are two questions asked informal letter or a formal letter so we both the this type of two topics we discuss here formal letter and informal letter here we find that the formal letter came in the category of which we write down to our parents brothers sisters cousin niece nephews uncle aunts grandparents and friends the letter which we write to our parents relatives and near and dear one that letter came in the category of a informal letter and so here we find that that question having five marks and some rules are there which we follow here how to write the informal letter so we move here forward while writing informal letter we find that the style is casual this important point that we write in a simple manner because here we express the feelings and thoughts which came in our mind now here we move forward that simple vocabulary we didn't use too much difficult or not not understanding words while writing this type of uh, informal letter because in that letter we express only our emotions and thoughts to our near and dear one next emotions and opinions should be expressed here in that category of a letter we find that we only express our ideas our emotions and our feelings to the persons to whom we write this type of letter also aligned to the left margin we find that before that we follow the british pattern but now we find different pattern in that pattern the whole letter was written in the left margin and so that is very important that we write than or we align to the left margin after that for indicating a paragraph we left one line that indicates that our next para started after that also before that in our uh, letter writing we use so many punctuation marks but now uh, in that new letter pattern we find that punctuation marks are omitted in address we find that in address there are so many punctuation marks we use but at the end of that each and every address punctuation marks are omitted here we also mention one important point punctuation marks are used within the address only it means that within that address we write down punctuation marks and that punctuation marks are omitted at the ending of that address also important one important topic is that comma is used in that if we write down 25th january 2020 so by indicating that we write down comma between that as uh, january uh, and before writing the year in it there is a comma after salutation in while writing i say that so many punctuation marks are omitted till then one punctuation mark is essential that there is a comma after salutation like dear rena after that i indicating here the comma like that we use punctuation mark here also comma is used in the complimentary close when we completed our letter at that time we write down your loving friend your truly your best friend your uh, loving uh, daughter whenever we write down this type of uh, complimentary close after that also we mention here comma and like that we find that these are the important points which you use while writing informal letter and by using that we move towards how to write a informal letter ha huh, now here we find that what is the format of a informal letter when you write down that informal letter as a an answer in your answer sheet first you have to mention section 5 after that mention that writing skill and which question you write down there you have to mention here as having a title informal letter here we find that after that again left one line and then you start your letter writing first of all you have to write down the sender's address having five lines 
made the proper attention that you have to write down that sender's address as having a five lines it's compulsory you must pay proper attention in it after that left one line after that salutation it means that the person to whom you write down that you write you mention the name of that person don't write down my dear friend write you mention your the, the name of your friend here after that by using three or four paragraphs or more than that you write down the body of a letter but always the sentences which you use there are having a very casual and very simple manner here after that again you left one line here and after that your complimentary close in that complimentary close you write down your loving friend your uh, your loving son like that you mention here after that first of all you sign here and then you mention the name of the person the who, who write down this letter these two points are also essential so like that we have to follow the format of a informal letter while writing it you definitely follow it and then achieve good marks in that letter writing pattern now we move here forward towards the next question having title formal letter the letters which came in a category of uh, official uh, formal letter came official letter the letter to write down authorities to the employers and to the news editor newspaper editors all that letters came in the category of a formal letter there are some important points which we have to understand while writing informal letter required specific and formal wording pay your attention here we didn't express what we want here we use only the use limited wordings and specific and format formal wordings which are essential while write down to the person who are not near and dear to us this officials employers and newspapers are not our family members so very limited wordings we have to write down having formal wordings we have to use while writing this type of formal letter brief and to the point we didn't express here our ideas they are very brief and to the point only the points which we want to discuss there which we want to tell that person only to the point we have to explain here again subject is compulsory without subject it is not written it means that from that subject the reader of the letter knows that what the letter was written and what is the topic which you want to discuss into that letter that subject indicated here reference is essential when when related to the advertisement when any advertisement published in the newspaper and you write that letter as a response of that letter as as a response of that uh, uh, advertisement after that you write down reference in a uh, in that formal letter here we discuss the format of a formal letter writing pay attention here if this type of question asked related to the formal letter how we write it in our answer sheet first you have to mention section 5 after that writing skill after that you mention that from that to which letter you write down here maybe it is a formal letter or maybe it is a informal letter you have to mention here that which letter you write down here the first important point that after that left one line again we move forwards towards the sender's address pay pay attention here like previous i tell that the sender's address having five lines it is compulsory that you properly mention here the five lines that sender's address after that the name and address of a address address means the person to whom you write down this letter that address also having the five lines in a proper manner you have to write it down after that subject subject always write in a short pay attention here if you write down a letter for inviting the person for your any annual gathering write down a letter of invitation like that in a short form you write down the subject there after that reference there i remember, before that i tell that when the when your letter related to any advertisement after that you mention reference there only if there is a advertisement published in the newspaper 
paper at that time you write down reference that indicated the person how you write down this letter to that person that reference indicated that you read that newspaper and after that you write down this letter to that person and so this reference is also important after writing this reference we move towards here the salutation pay attention here always write down respected sir pay attention here if you are confident that the person who are sitting in that highest position is a ladies at that time you write down here respected madam otherwise we write down always respected sir here after that write down a proper comma into that salutation after that left one line first after that you have to introduce yourself because that employer that uh, newspaper editor he is not familiar with you so at that time first you have to introduce yourself and that self introduction is most important so first of all you introduce yourself after that you write down the motive for, for what you write down this letter to that person it is called as the body of a letter it is having three or four paras related to the topic i again mention that it is only proper wordings we have to use there while writing this type of formal letter after that it is ended with a thanking you pay here attention without that your formal letter cannot be completed first of all you write down that thanking you indicated that you thank that person who read your letter very properly now move here forwards after that by leaving one line after that we move here the complimentary close again here we write down yours truly in that complimentary close we write down your yours truly and there is a comma it's also mentioned and proper indicated here after that give a proper signature and mention your name in a proper manner pay attention the sign indicated that you are that person who sign here so that name and that sign is equal don't write down your different name and here different name while writing it also if the question related to the job application here we write down that uh, reference whenever the advertisement published in the newspaper related to the job opportunity of related to any post that advertisement published in the newspaper and we write, we uh, use reference there so whenever you use reference there you write down enclosure here that enclosure indicates that for that job application which documents you have to attach to that letter that enclosure means the documentation which you attach into that letter so first of all we write down cv cv means a curriculum vitae always we write down bio data but in our standard language we write down your cv cv means a curriculum vitae after that the photocopy of a degree whatever degrees you have whatever certificate courses you have you write down you mention here the photocopy of a degree to photocopy of a certificates which you have mentioned here also proper experience certificate if you have any experience uh, experience you mention here how many years experience you have and you mention here the photocopy of a experience certificate it means that minimum 4 and 5 you, you have to mention here only when when you write down an, a letter for a job application at that time you mention here the enclosure otherwise in formal letter there is no need to write down reference and enclosure whenever there is a reference there you write down the enclosure there and like that we discuss here today the letter writing having a formal and informal letter i expect students you write it down very well and achieve five marks related to that one question thank you